Hey everyone, today we're building a serious addition to our shop, a 5 by 10 foot Avid CNC machine. This machine is a powerhouse for precision cuts on a large scale and it is going to open a whole new level of possibilities for our projects. So let's get started. First we're starting with the frame. Avid CNC machine comes with a modular frame system which is one of the reasons why they're so popular in the maker community. And this frame was built from heavy duty extruded aluminum giving it the strength to support materials and projects of all sizes. We went with the 5x10 model perfect for handling large sheets of plywood or longer pieces of custom furniture. Once that frame is solid, it's time to install the inner rails. These precision ground rails are crucial. They guide the gantry back and forth, keeping every cut perfectly straight. And here is where accuracy matters. Even the slightest misalignment can throw off the cuts, so we're checking and double checking every measurement. Now onto the gantry. The gantry is the backbone of the CNC and is where the spindle will be mounted and do all the cutting. This part is made from rigid aluminum too and designed to both be lightweight and durable. After that is the stepper motors and we chose to go with the highest durability stepper motors that they offered. Now we're assembling the Z axis which allows the spindle to move up and down. Precision here is also critical and the Z-axis determines the depth of our cuts. The spindle is also mounted on the Z-axis and we're going with a 4 horsepower RM40 turnkey ATC spindle package from CNC Depot. This spindle is robust enough to handle a wide range of materials and cut depths and it includes the tool changing feature and future automatic tool changing once I get that set up. One of the great things about Avid CNC is the comprehensive wiring setup guide they provide. We're connecting each motor to the control box along with limit switches and sensors to help prevent the machine from over traveling in any direction. It's a detailed process but having everything well labeled makes it very straightforward. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Test run of the Avid CNC. Doing some crazy things right now. It's doing a curve, that's cool. This machine connects to a PC where it all is controlled by software. After running a few test commands, we're making minor adjustments and calibrations to make sure it's hitting the right points and movements. Now, one of the game changers we're adding to this setup is a vacuum hold down system from Black Box Vacuum. What's up, working on the CNC, getting it prepped. Got these plumbed in loosely, they're not glued, but it goes through the wall and then to the vacuum pump that is right here. And then I need to make that connection from here to there to there. Boom, boom, boom. And we've got vacuum. So, looks good. I'm excited for how it turns out. We are here live with the CNC. It's cutting! This system creates a powerful suction across the entire table surface, allowing us to hold down large sheets and even small parts securely without needing clamps. The Hurricane model is strong enough to handle various materials and setup is straightforward, just like everything else. With this vacuum, we have control of five different independent zones, which is perfect for what we are doing with this CNC. All right, there you have it. Our 5x10 Avid CNC is fully assembled. With this machine, we're able to take larger and more intricate projects with precision that we could not achieve before. From custom furniture pieces to detailed works of art, even milling parts for other projects, the Avid CNC opens up endless creative possibilities. Thank you guys for following along with this build. Stay tuned for more projects where we put the CNC to the test. And if you have any questions about the setup process, drop them down in the comments below. Like and subscribe as always. And thanks again for watching.